I Love My Dad, out online, written, directed by and starring James Morosini. The film is based on his own life story. Also stars Patton Oswalt and Claudia Zulewski. Uh, the story opens with James's character Franklin coming out of therapy following a suicide attempt. With the help of his mother, he tries to return to his everyday life. Uh, he also has an estranged father, played by Patton Oswalt, a habitual liar, someone who over the years have has proven multiple times that he overpromises and delivers nothing. And as part of the healing process, Franklin decides to finally cut his dad off completely, blocking his number, blocking him on social media and so on, just allowing him no contact at all. But the dad is desperate to at least keep tabs on his son and, and what's going on in his life. So he creates a fake online profile using the pictures stolen from a local waitress named Becca and begins to follow Franklin. But things quickly get out of hand as Franklin starts messaging the fake Becca and getting into this online quasi-relationship with a fake profile run by, by his actual father. So it's a kind of real story that's stranger than fiction. It's incredibly weird, awkward and full of cringe. Uh, I'm sure for Morosini making a movie out of it must have been an element of therapy as well. So to sort of get it out there and, and deal with it that uh, deal with it that way. But it does make for an odd viewing experience for someone from the outside. Now, I will say this, it's not a bad movie. Uh, the performances are good, particularly Claudia Sulewski really impressed me because I knew her by way of my girlfriend as a YouTube vlogger and honestly didn't expect her to be more than a pretty face, but she is genuinely really good in this. And secondly, the thing that allows her to shine is the central conceit of the film, which is that the chat conversations are sort of visualized by having Claudia Solewski be physically in the room with James Morosini and act out those interactions as if they were happening live instead of online. And in fact, as if they were happening actually with, with the person, with the girl, instead of between him and his dad. In any case, I did think it's, it was an interesting way to frame the story cinematically and, and visually instead of having it just be a series of texts on the screen. So, it's competently made and there aren't really any things straight up wrong with how it's filmed, but the problem for me is that the story feels kind of wrong in so many ways. It made me want to not watch it. Uh, I don't know if you, if you sort of get what I mean, but sometimes you experience something so cringe that you kind of want to just erase it from your memory, and the, the plot of this film is exactly that. Which brings me to the main conundrum, which is that it isn't a bad movie, but at the same time I didn't enjoy watching it all that much, and I don't think I would recommend it to anyone. Uh, it's probably great therapy for Morosini, and I, but I don't feel great about being the audience for it.